What's up, Rage and Nation? How's it going? This is Alex, you and you're watching the Rage and Rona Review. I got a review for you. Last week, I watched No Escape, and No Escape is an action suspense thriller directed by John Eric Dowdle. And this film caught me off guard because it kind of came out of nowhere for me. I didn't expect this film at all. I didn't know about it until I saw a trailer for it recently. And then I was completely sold. I was completely sold on the premise and also the fact that it was a serious R-rated action film starring Owen Wilson. I mean, Owen Wilson is known for comedy, comedy drama, and a little bit of action comedy. You know, Shanghai Noon and Shanghai Nights where Jackie Chan was doing the action and Owen Wilson was doing the comedy. But he's never been in a serious, full-on action film and this is that film film and like I said the premise is what sold me okay now see if you can wrap your head around this family of four husband and a wife two daughters moving to an Asian country because of a job opportunity later on finds out that uh, the country is under political turmoil there are rebels or rather um, unhappy locals that uh, are going against the government or protesting uh, um, and they are killing Americans. They're killing foreigners. And because of that, no escape. So his, his family, him and his family are trying to escape this country. They want to get out of this country. Otherwise, they're going to die. Okay, so I was sold. I mean, it looked like a pretty interesting premise. And I also like the fact that it wasn't like your, you know, your typical military drama or cops and robbers or, you know, superhero, whatever, right? It was just basically... A, a film that starts off pretty normal. I mean, you're going off to a different country hoping everything's going to be okay and then the whole thing just gets turned upside down and your world gets rocked, okay? So, you know, that is something that uh, I found is um, quite uh, intriguing. So I watched the film and, you know, it starts off, you know, uh, a little bit slow just to establish, the, uh, establish what is going on but once political turmoil begins, it doesn't end, okay? I'm telling you, as soon as they get all the establishing stuff out of the way, the movie is relentless. It doesn't stop. This movie is non-stop, um, just no escape, okay? It's non-stop. They just want to get out of there and everywhere they go, it is, uh, um, it is quite stressful. In fact, it is intense. There are just moments where I feel like, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, okay? <laughs> It, it's in some ways it almost feels like a horror movie uh, it feels like there's a lot of horror movie elements in it because there's moments where they're hiding and the moments there's being chased and there are moments where they're just about to die because of like something that is just really you know they're they're, they're um borderline about to get chopped to bits or whatever right and you know what i feel that john eric dowdle as the director with his horror film credits and experience, he brought a lot of that flavor into this mix. As a matter of fact, even though this is a film about um, non-supernatural elements, non-horror type stuff, it still feels like a horror movie. In fact, it makes the rebels feel like zombies. This feels like a zombie film. No Escape is essentially a zombie film without zombies. <laughs> because all the rebels, they're, they're, they are... Like um, they are, uh, uh, they're they're zombies, and they're trying to get away from them. They're they're faceless, nameless. They 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 speak in a foreign language that you don't understand, and um, because of that, um, you you just feel like they're they're. They're in a, an apocalypse, a modern apocalypse, okay, in, in a foreign country. So I actually kind of like that about the movie because it made the movie feel intense. It made it feel real, all right? Zombies, you know, and all that stuff, that's, uh, that's in the fictional world, right? But this type of thing can happen. I mean, it's happened before. So this, this type of thing is something I, that I felt uh, is very real. And because of that, it gave me a very intense uh, movie viewing experience. So... I highly recommend this film. I feel like this is a very surprisingly good film uh, because of all the things that I, I didn't expect to happen in this film, which is uh, it really made me feel um, uh, gripping and tensed up because of all those, those great moments 
that uh, that that this film has to give us. So I really really enjoyed this film. Love the direction. I mean, like I said, felt like a horror movie, and I completely connected with all these characters because I wanted them to survive. I mean, you see a a desperate father and a husband trying to get his family to 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 make it out of this alive, and um, he. Uh, you know, he, he really pulls it off. Owen Wilson, hats off to him for um, for for just making this movie um, making this movie feel real and everybody involved. Uh, all right, so there you have it. That's all I gotta say in this review. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half out of ten. I think you guys should check it out. It's a movie that came out on the tail end of the summer movie season, and uh, it's a time when you know the blockbusters start dying down. You know, there are fewer and fewer of them. And I'm kind of glad I saw it during that time because I was a little bit tired out of all the, you know, the big explosions and the dinosaurs and the superheroes and what whatnot, the car chases. You know what? Here is like your traditional, uh, no nonsense, um, you know, uh, a very very serious action movie without all those uh, over the top elements. And I really enjoyed it. I really enjoyed it just for that. It felt very simple. And maybe these days that's all you need to be entertained. You've got to keep it simple and you'll feel entertained. And what you have here is great story and great characters. Characters you really care about. All right. So there you have it. That's all I got to say. Once again, seven and a half out of ten. And I highly recommend this film. Check it out while it's in theaters. Okay. So there you have it. Um, as always, if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the YouTube channel, like me on Facebook, The Rage Nation. Also follow me on Twitter, at Rage Nation. My name's Alex Hughes. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace. It looks convincing. Frank, I mean, uh, Ed Scrine, you know what? He's got a lot of work to do. None of those, those, um, none of those fights.